My name is Sophie Allen. I'm the lead physics teacher for the National Space Academy based in Leicester in the United Kingdom. Um, my role involves both classroom teaching and running inspirational workshops for students from other schools. And the reason that I'm here at the ESA Teacher Conference this year is partly to share my own experience and knowledge and deliver some of the resources that I myself have developed, but also to see how some of the really exciting and inspiring things that the European Space Agency is doing right now can be used as a context, as a way of teaching the science that my students need to learn as part of their course. So hopefully I will pick up lots of good ideas that I will be able to take back to my students and really bring home the modern cutting edge science while still giving them the information they need for their exams. One of the problems with teaching is there is so much to do that there's very little spare time to be able to dedicate to planning and preparation. And often teachers can spend hours working on a single lesson just to try and get the really quality information and quality approach in there. Coming to a conference like this means that the resources are already there for me. I can see the applications, I get to speak to specialists in their field about what's happening. And then I can take that back, equipped and ready to step straight into the classroom to use these resources with my students and hopefully get them really inspired and worked up about the science that we're talking about. Well, historically, there's certainly been more uptake with boys than with girls in the majority of STEM subjects, particularly in physics and engineering. Um, historically, girls have always done more biology than any of the other so-called physical sciences. We're beginning to see a shift in that trend. Girls are beginning to get more involved. Um, as far as taking different approaches goes, I myself don't really change the way that I particularly approach it. I think if you are making it inspirational enough, there's no reason why you need to make it particularly girly or boyish. Um, but undoubtedly there are ways that you can make it a little bit more relevant to certain groups. Historically, and as I see it in the classroom, boys tend to like exploding things quite a lot more than the girls, whereas the girls like to, the, the bigger implications and the sitting down and thinking about how it links in, and it has been considered that they like the pretty sciences a little bit more. So there are things that you can consider, but on the whole, I personally believe if what you're teaching them is inspirational enough, then you don't need to do anything differently for either gender. If you lose a student too early, if you alienate them from your subject, so in my case science, too early, it's very difficult to get them back at a later point. Now students generally love science and they love getting the opportunity to do experiments, but if you haven't got a specialist teaching it, it can be a little bit lost sometimes under misunderstandings. So I do think it's vitally important that in science in particular, we can really emphasise that at a primary level so that we're setting the students up with everything they need to go straight into secondary and then later tertiary education, all ready to go with an inquisitive mind, with a natural questioning. But if you lose them at any of the other stages as well, you're not going to get them back. So while I do think we need more of a focus at a primary level, we have to sustain that focus all the way through if we're going to make education work.